Remember, y'all, you can fuck up whatever you want as far as your dessert goes. But but remember, pretentious white people love Cherry's Jubilee. I swear to God. This is true. People will, go, people will cream themselves over Cherry's Jubilee at any moment. Give, give me something flaming. It's, I'm that, too. Um, Did you, you paint your flaming. nails? Oh, yeah, I was going through. I was cleaning out. And what colors I didn't want. So I was just painting different colors on my nails to see which ones I liked or not. They don't look pretty. I was just slapping them on there to see. I'm glad you did this so it's going to distract the fuck out of me. I, I Great. Been, I've been wearing them the whole time. No, you haven't. Like that I've got here. Yeah, but I haven't seen it because... I've you, been here for 30 minutes. You're not gesticulating your hands wildly. Oh, well. Great. Thanks for distracting me. <laughs> I'm not responsible for the way I behave today. <laughs> And you're already on cold medicine. And I'm on cold medicine because I sound like uh, uh, B. Arthur. Well, you have to get used to it because I like it. I want to. Although I'll take I'll take my nail polish off before I go back to Oklahoma because everybody will say, "What's going on with Matthew?" Yeah, you're gonna have to do that. See, why is he painting his nails? Does he, is he becoming a woman? Is, is he waited to do this till his dad died? And now <laughs> he, is that what he's doing? Oh my God! Y'all, that's you, exactly what the gossip that's exactly would be. Exactly what the gossip. No, would No, as be. soon as you said that, I'm like, yeah, that kind of that yeah. kind of tracks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know, I'm glad he's doing what he needs to do, oh. but I'm glad his father's dead. God, I can't see it. He was already gay. That was enough for old Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've never had Cherry's Jubilee. Uh, Is it actually good? Yeah. What is Cherry's Jubilee? It's like a cherry's dessert with like a a syrup, usually on ice cream, and it's flaming, usually with some kind of liqueur. Oh. Yeah. You know there's a drag queen named Cherry Jubilee. I'm sure there are. Then somebody messed it up. Then then something's going wrong. Y'all, this is Below Dick. This is Below Dick. The finale of Below Dick. And that's what Rachel said. We made it, you slags. We made it, you slags. Because she fucked up her boxes. She didn't yeah. get to make. She didn't get to melt her box. She messed up her box. I, they kind of. This name is appropriate because, ugh, we fucking made it. This was a slag. Barely. No slog. I know, but I was making a joke on the words. So, yeah. Well, I'm glad I have. <laughs> if I have to explain it, it's not funny. I agree. It's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, there we go. I'm not doing the show with uh, the drag queen down the street on Cochran. <laughs> I'm doing the show with Miss Boudreaux, Anthony. I'm who is still sick. I well, I'm I'm, I'm much tired, I'm much locally. better. I just got a bad chest cold, or or I had bad allergies from uh, the East Coast, and it gave me, me a sinus infection, a chest infection. And it's not what. And it's not guess what, what you're fuckers. Thinking. Guess what, y'all? Guess guess who's COVID negative? This bitch. And before you say the rapid tests don't matter, you know what? I had a fucking PCR test last night, and the P- P- the PCR test said non-reactive. Boom. Boom. The test even said boom. <laughs> it, yeah, it, it did. It did. Um, uh, I'm sure some people will say that. Well, I had a PCR. Well, but we both got tested. PCR we- tests are. Are very accurate. That's what, so we both are not detected. And it would have been, and I think, I think it would have been. I don't know been, how we dodged Omicron in New York, but we. I'll tell you did. how we did it. I'll tell you how we did it. How we wore our masks inside. We, did we wore N95 inside. masks inside. We wore those fucking N95, and even until it got crazy cold, like during the snowstorm. Before that, y'all, our asses, we would eat outside as our coats. Yeah, it was freezing, but well, we did they it. had they had. Uh, they had those outdoor area. places. They weren't warm. No. They're not warm, y'all. But honestly, uh, get vaccinated, get boosted, wear your mask indoors where you don't know if people have, have been exposed yeah, to people up, out, it, outside though. of your pods. We're tired, y'all. <laughs> I get it. Poodle and I are both kind of at this point yeah. with where we're both just like, I'm tired of wearing this. I'm, yeah. But... If as long as the variant field doesn't rear its ugly head, we're on track to kind of knock things out. You know, the more you talk about Phil, I don't think it's funny. Not that not that the name isn't. Mm-hmm. I just don't think the idea of another variant You're is scared. even funny to me. Yeah, it wouldn't be. I'm it's not yeah. funny. No, I'm just saying. Hope it doesn't come. No, 
Somebody. Just going to avoid it. Put your head in the sand. That's why we're never making another joke about Miss Kova ever again. Why not? Because she's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> she's ceased to be funny. Oh, wow. I, I don't know. To differ. <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe in like five years we'll look. No, not even then. Not, not even I don't then. think even not then. Not even then. It's. Funny. I still think the bat from Wuhan's funny though. Because mm, that's just weird. It's weird. Uh, <laughs> it's all kind of funnier than the season. Oh God, y'all! I'm glad this one's done. Oh my glad God, glad this one is done. Oh. Um, yeah, this was a miserable episode. Yes, and what a way to end. Oh, I mean, so we're gonna have the. Re- I, I can't imagine this reunion being two parts. It is. I'm sure it is. Oh, they're well, almost always two parts. Man, I hope it's only one. They are usually two parts. Maybe, maybe, maybe there was just so much. Number one, because there was just so much non non-compelling material and this whole thing with with Raina and Heather there's only so many things you can rehash about it well and Jake's not coming I told you that yeah. we just saw that so maybe it is only one part Jake's not coming he's had some mental health issues <clears throat> so we send him all the best we do he is not he said he feels better but he just needs to work on himself so I, I want to yeah. say this is he a weird thing to say he also won't be on next season yeah, I figured um, they, that's, a, that's not a strange thing for them to, to take time off no, not at all. Yeah, it's all. it's it's actually weird if you have the same crew for Below yeah. Deck. I kind of thought we were going to get a, a Rachel blow up, but never really happened. She kind of kept it simmered no. down. Well, she j- she had a Chief Stew who handled her well. She did. She did have a Chief yeah. Stew who handled her well. Yeah. If you back talk her once, you're gonna get the you're gonna get to eat my cooter. Yeah. Don't want that. <laughs> no. Don't want to eat that cooter. Um. I, I, I find Kuta to be... It's just meh. <laughs> it's just meh. I'm not bad about it. It's just not my thing. <laughs> it's like cantaloupe. Don't like it. <laughs> don't like it. I hate cantaloupe. I don't like it either. My mother I loves hate it. I hate honeydew. I don't like any of those melon things. I can eat watermelon. Watermelon, I can but... eat. That's it. Oh, the melons, that's it. Has it has to be a very specific time. I don't want prosciutto wrapped around the cantaloupe. No. Nope. To me, it's a texture thing, too. Yeah. Ugh. I just don't care for it. Yeah. Anyway. Riveting. 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 Who gives a what shit? What if the podcast was just us taking a topic <laughs> and weighing in like, I like this. I don't like this. I like this. I don't like this because of this. We really should talk about Below Deck. We don't want to, but we should. Ugh. Um. Before we start, any... Uh, Announcements. Just want to remind people about our link tree link. We are coming to LA at the end of February. Coming to, we're gonna we're gonna drive fifteen minutes to the, to the theater yep, from our are. house. We're going to the Regent, <coughs> the Regent Theater. We're very excited it's a, about. It's that. a bigger venue than we had last time, and there's booze. Uh, yes, and we are gonna have uh, no Priscilla the party bus. And then we'll kick off our tour uh, traveling again with Seattle and Portland. And you know, one of our sissies said, "You know, you are coming to Boston in April." We do get cold fronts then, and Fuck I'm like, you. don't put that out there. I can't handle it, y'all. The, the glee in which she kind of tweeted it, and I think she thought we would laugh, and I'm like, I mean, that's I, not funny. I, I, I laughed a little bit. It's just hashtag too soon. I'll laugh in a couple of months, but y'all, I'm telling you now, if we're going to a place that says Philly or whatever, and I look, and the weather says a snowstorm in four days... I'm canceling the show. I can do a three. I'm not going. I can do like two inches of snow, three inches of no. snow. Not a polar or a, a, polar a bomb, bomb cyclone. No, I, I'm not doing it. I'm I'm, I'm gonna, just going to cancel. Everybody will be happier. I agree. I will be. Because I can't deal with this bitch in the cold and wet. <laughs> no. You know, it is, it's the dampness. And yeah. you can never get warm. Just so moist outside. Yeah. It's a terrible word. Moist. Moist. It's okay. today's wordle. Oh, sorry. If you haven't, if you, if you haven't played it, I saw it, but I haven't played it yet. <laughs> I just ruined your Wordle. Are you into Wordle? <coughs> Who isn't? You're not. No. You don't post a little pictures of your Wordles. I don't. I don't do that. Oh, okay. Well, people would be intimidated. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. Two guesses. How'd you get this? It's patterns, honey. What do we do with the show again? Do we talk through it or do we do tea, tea bags? bags? That's what I thought. Okay, great. Why What's... do we have to rehash this every time we go to this know. show? What's your first tea bag? Um, Rachel, uh, you know, after the season ends, Rachel's buying a bus and driving around with a commercial kitchen. I love this idea. They need to make a show of this. She'd be good TV. She'd be great TV of her just yeah. driving around her bus, inviting people in her bus to cook with her. And fighting with people. I'd watch this. She needs... Even if it was a legit cooking show, not a reality show. She needs... I think it would, it would be a cooking show, and it would be an ex- exploration of where she was. I'd watch that. God, your fucking nails are just distracting. So, well, if they were uh, one color, it wouldn't be as bad. But they're it, like four colors, y'all. It, it doesn't matter. You're going you're gonna to hate them no matter what color they are. I don't hate the dark blue. At one the time, light blue looked bad. I, I like them. I just don't. I like the dark blue better. But I, I just tried them out to see which colors I liked. I like the gray a lot. I didn't think I'd like that at all. That one's passable. Yeah, I like the dark. The dark blue is. I okay. think we're gonna get before one of our shows. Maybe on these, <laughs> we'll go get our manicures, and you'll get like glitter red. No, that That'd would make me crazy. You. That would make me crazy. <laughs> um. What's that's um, that's no, mine. I would watch that. I would watch that cooking show. It's not a reality show. It'd be a cooking show with her. Yeah, but it'd be funny. Um, I also need to say one thing, and that's all I will say about it. What the theme of Alexander Glamilton <sighs> is possibly the worst dinner theme, the worst theme in the history of Below Deck, and they loved it. God, these people are basic. I bet they loved it so much. And I did. Y'all shouted me out for saying. Felt really red on all the white people who went to theater, who had theater degrees, loving Hamilton. I came for you. If you're listening to this True. now, and you're listening to Hamilton, and you're and you're uh, you're you you're, know who loves you're Hamilton singing. It's quiet uptown. Our moderator Jackie Wiseman, she's gonna I, come at you, Jackie. She she told me about Hamilton years ago. She was pushing that playlist. I really like listen. Hamilton too. Yeah, it too. It's. it's to me, it's the obsession with it of a certain type of population. I get it. Yeah. I get it. Um, my next tea bag is <clears throat> I just want to be somewhere and if I we might be somewhere in public and I just might look at you and say, We need a silent galley. <laughs> That's this, my next one too. I love this term and we'll use that from now on silent I, I could use that for you. I could use that for you. I'll say silent galley. Silent galley. Thing is, is you won't listen. We've tried to play the quiet game before. I bet your mother tried to play the quiet game. With oh, you all I the always time. lost. My mother would no. My mother would say, if we she'd be going somewhere with my brother and I, and we'd be like screaming about something or blah blah blah. And my mother's like, boys, we okay, we need, we're playing the quiet game. But the next, and the winner gets a a hot dog or something like that. She knew to use food. She knew to use food. Yeah, <laughs> um, and. Someone would fuck. You know what we'd start doing? Hitting each other. Yeah, that's what you do. You play the quiet game, but then you start going. Yeah. And touching each no, other. No, hitting one another no, out of pain. No, we would start with this, and then you would hit. Yeah. What, you wouldn't even like just jab at your brother? You just rear rack and hit him? Maybe. God, you were mean. Mean, <clears throat> mean, mean, older brother. Um, My brother was mean, too. Who was meaner? I he don't know. I think, ornery, I, I think I was mean. Although we would try to find ways to hurt each other. That would was definitely. you just walk by your brother and just hit him out of the blue? Yeah. Yeah. We were 18 months apart. When you're that close, you have to establish your own identity, and the other person is, in a way, your best friend and your mortal enemy. <laughs> especially because you look similarly. It's, it's an interesting, especially if it's siblings of the same sex. Because you're kind of... I think fighting with your doppelganger. To, yeah. I mean, my brother and I fought, but not like you and your brother. 18 months is, is different, lot, though. It's very close. Yeah. Know. You're yeah. Okay, But it's not twins, either. <coughs> no, because I think twins, you can like kind of yeah. share an identity. Yeah. yeah. Whereas he ruined all the love you got from your mother. He took it away from you when he was born, and you probably never got over it. And... He, my teachers always had me first, and he's like, "Oh, you're Jake's brother." Every table comes like, "So and so said, oh, you're Jake's brother again." And you kissed all the teachers' ass. No, I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't they, one of you. I wasn't a, a suck up. I just did really well. 
you did really well, but you, oh, so you never engaged in conversation with your teachers about no, the subject matter? I was not, I was not a teacher lover like you were. I, I would love to speak to your brother about this. You can. I bet you he'll have different opinions. No, I just, I didn't, I did not need, teachers liked me, but I, I did not need their approval. Yeah. That way. Okay. Um, We're never going to talk I about this I wasn't teacher's pet, like someone who's sitting across from me student, needed to be. Student of the year, my senior year, y'all. Student of the year. Wait, how do you get to be student of the year? You get elected by your teachers. Okay, that's the most ridiculous award. Because I was student of the month. And usually the way it works, student of the month in September ends up being student of the year. And, well, myself and Maria Covey. How do you become student of the month? They do as teachers like the student of the month every year, every month. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, at the awards, at the academic awards. But isn't they, it just teachers picking their favorites? Yeah. Yeah. So it's a very, very uh, rigorous competition. Yeah. Got it. Hey, I never got it. I never. They, did, they didn't do student of the month at your school. They, I know it's a thing people do. We did not do it. Well, you went to a fancy art school where y'all call it. No, the I went to names. later on. <laughs> no, I never did that. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, we did student of the month when I was in middle school, elementary. And you know what? I never got student of the month my entire school I year. I thought student of the month was based on something academic. Well, yeah, you do have to have good grades. Okay. Um, but uh, I never got student of the month. Ever, ever. It's because I talk too much in class. Yeah, and me too. Kids. Never got it. And then my senior year bowled me over. I got it. And then I got student of the year and I showed all those kids after 13 years. You seem very deserving. <laughs> I was. <laughs> the day we got student of the month. Student of the year. The day we got student just... of the Maria and I went to my house and had Doritos <clears throat> and watched DuckTales. We skipped school. I'm just trying to figure out I guess, but what? we could only do it for like an hour, and then we're like, we gotta get back to class. <laughs> rule, you, rule breakers. I know we were because you go to a banquet. But weren't you in your senior year? Yeah. So you were watching Ducktales, or we watched something. It was like cartoons. We just went and watched it at the house and hung out and ate. You and I did my senior year when I skipped school. You probably did drugs. No, we went to go drink on the basketball court. <laughs> okay. Talk about how. Things we could do to piss off our teachers. <laughs> so it's true. Where I wanted teachers approval, you wanted students approval because yes, we all want approval much more. So if you say uh, you didn't want approval in high school, I wanted I wanted, I wanted approval my peers more. Oh, yeah. and that's why he has straight guy fetishes to this day. Like you don't. Let's move on. We're twenty Where minutes in, see? and we haven't even talked about below deck. No, we are. Okay. Um, how about this? Let's talk about uh, the historical reenactment, the very accurate historical reenactment of the Alexander <sighs> Hamilton Aaron Burr duel. Duel. I thought I was there. Did you notice that these? I don't know if you ever watched this show, but this is the best approximation of what I can imagine. I never watched it regularly, but my mother used to watch it when it would come on on like Saturday mornings. The show Bonanza. It was like a Western. No, I know Bonanza. Yeah. Uh, um, um, Michael Landon. Michael Landon, yeah. yeah. But that was what those clothes looked like. Like Kinda, Western yeah. clothes that are like Kinda. white shirts with brown vests. Yeah, they do. Like, they look very 1883. Yeah. Yes. But like they, they did not look. <laughs> they, did. they did not look. Oh, it's like, where did you buy these Amazon clothing? It, well, and it's not like, <coughs> if you're going to do Hamilton, how, they're not going to sing Hamilton or do anything. They just walk, turn around, and shot each other. And someone, I'm all for a cheesy reenactment, but this was just not great production value. Well, it wasn't. And they walked around, and they're like, sir, I'm going to shoot you. It was boring. I don't. I think they could have scripted it better. They, I think they could have gotten a better tip because they only got seventeen thousand dollars. I think. I think these people wound up being more basic than they thought they were. I think so too. Yeah. Ooh. I think so too. I don't have any more to say about the people. Um, I, the, 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 my next one, the only one I want to say is, um, uh, there is a part part where um, Fraser and Jake are talking and. 
Jake says afterwards, he's like, well, maybe I'll, you know, be an actor or something. Ha, ha, ha. And then Fraser, of course, says, do you, you could think you ever do porn? And Fraser says, without missing a beat. No, Jake. Or Jake says, yes, I do a little bit of porn. And Poodle went Ooh. somewhere. He went somewhere. Y'all, you would subscribe to that OnlyFans, I would. wouldn't you? No, because he'd do freaky shit. Oh, yeah, he would. That's Piano Cat 77 shit. He would. Pup masks. He would. Gas masks. Other masks. But, but you, I think I was going to say this, and somehow we, we got, you derailed it. Yeah. But I wanted to say, it's so, it's so interesting that he said he was t- taking, stepping back from the show for mental health reasons. And I was like, that's quite, that's kind of progress in a way that a no, man, so, yeah. a man can say, I'm taking some time off for my mental health. Oh, yeah. Can you imagine what that would have been like even three or four years ago? Well, people would have said, you know, they would start saying, what's, is he crazy? What's wrong with him? Yeah. 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 And now, now it's, we've normalized that a little more. A little, a little more. more. Getting um, of a younger generation. Yeah. You wouldn't see probably Captain Lee say that. No, but I thought that's progress. I thought so too. In a way. I thought so too. So we wish you the best, Jake. Wish you the best, Jake. Um, uh, should we take a break before? Because um, I, I, I don't have that much to talk about before we I just have the rest of the Before I'm we done just with talk about Raina okay, <laughs> and yeah. the mess. We'll take a commercial. We'll be right back. So let's just spend, let's just do kind of a post mortem decompression sure. on the Reina situation sure. and kind of what happened. Sure. Um, sure. Sure. So it's interesting. I want to, I want to put this to you and I, and I want to ask if you've ever had something like this. I don't know. I can't imagine you ever worked in hostile work environments. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, worked for my dad. He yelled at me a lot, <laughs> but, uh, um, but no environment where you had to work as a team, and if there wasn't a member who was or ignoring someone, you couldn't do the work. It happens what was serving sometimes. Um, no, because my day job was always yeah. it was a pretty good place to work. So I've been that's the reason why I stayed there. But it's so long. This one thing I wanted to point out here is Raina is you know that's she's been doing it to Heather for a while. Uh, kind of ever since, ever since the that night where she said the N word, even even probably maybe maybe like one episode or two episodes past that, mm-hmm. where Heather would speak to Raina, and Raina would sometimes say something dismissive, which is something, but sometimes she doesn't say anything at all. A lot of times she doesn't say anything at all. And y'all, that's workplace harassment. Yeah, it really is. Uh, because if you can't really find a way and yes it, it i agree that if they had it, you uh, at least try to keep up appearances mm-hmm. but because otherwise you're not going to do your job well mm-hmm. if one person feels isolated especially of a, a superior mm-hmm. find a way it's almost like but and she was keep saying and Raina said we don't have to be friends i'm never going to be friends with her that's not what's happening you're actively being an impediment to good job performance. Well, it's like, it's basically, y'all, they go out. No, this is before that. This, yeah, that's true. But, and Heather's trying to say, like, good job, Rain, and stuff like that. She's not responding to her. And yeah. then they end up, the crew leaves, they clean, they go out that night. And then the whole time, Raina is, I mean, it was it Wes that even said Raina is prodding her? Fraser. Fraser. Fraser even said, like. Later. Well, there, the she's been but doing is, it, but that is that that is it's bullying. the definition of bullying. Yeah, it is, and I know that you could say, well, because, but Heather said yes. Heather said a stupid, a very horrible, stupid thing in front of Raina. Remember, she didn't call Raina that. She right. said it. She said it about like someone else, and so, and because I think that is a little different, but it's still not great. It's still horrible, but it's they have talked about it superiors their upper level people have gotten involved so it's just and they're stuck on a boat you're right they have to and there is a way of keeping up appearances where you don't have to be nice 
that doesn't involve not responding to someone at all. You don't have and to actively trying to shut that person down. You don't have to be nice, right? But you also don't have to be rude, right? I think there's a difference. Or you, or doing something Brandon that just could have said thanks that might impede performance. Yes. Now, do I think Heather? Is desperate for validation. Definitely, and she needs, so she is, needs everyone is to Heather like her. Probably putting it on more than we saw, even in the edit, like of trying just yep. to get. Well, we don't to know. Like her. We can't. We can't assume anything. I'm speculating, though, no, probably a little bit. But I think if she wasn't, I think it's um, y'all. They're at the dinner and they're sitting there at dinner, and Raina um, basically says like they're like toasting and yeah. Let's let, let me just let me just uh, thread this through before sure. a little bit more. Raina never stops to mention how much she loves Rachel, how much she can't, she keep, keeps, would love to work with Rachel her whole time. Yes, it's true. I love Rachel. And she's starting to say that she loves Kaylee. Yes. I so, love Kaylee. Y'all, this is microaggressions out the ass. No, she's making a big yeah. deal of how much she loves everybody else and more than Heather. it's completely directed at Heather. It's, one, it's all about Heather, yeah. and for I, sure. And you guys, I don't want to defend Heather at all. But no, for what she said, no. This is, this is straight up bullying i agree yeah i agree and I agree anyway so that's i'm just threading that 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 strong strand yes yes yes, yes go yes, ahead yes. i'm sorry what you were saying and so they're at this dinner and that's where she starts saying they're talking about they're having this stupid conversation about about heather's like everybody loves kaylee now and yeah. heather's like see i told you you can't judge a book by a cover and fraser's drunk is like yes you do there's pages in a book and fraser's all drunk and, and then ran is just like we weren't sure if she was your twin or not yeah, we weren't saying you, you're. She's like, but we know and you, you know you like to say the n word, and no one. And, well, no, and but no, no, no. You missed that. You. She says she Heather did not take the bite. The no, bait. no, no, no. And she's like, well, we read your pages, and even oh, yeah. then, Heather does not take the bait. No, she doesn't. And then that's when Raina then says, Raina keeps. We going. know you like to say the n word, and no one says anything else. And you know what? She didn't even take the bait. Then she didn't take the bait. Then. And that's where Fraser says, Raina is just, she's just she's being petty, petty yeah. and prodding her at this point. And he says, It's their last night. I know. And he says, I'm close to both. So it's obvious that Raina's trying to do this. Um, and then that's where Raina really starts in like, Kaylee is having more fun with us. It's very juvenile. Oh. It's very, it, it's just the best word for you. Like I said, it's just full on bullying. Yep. And so, which it's again, to tease out the difference, Heather really never, if you look at it, Heather really, and come at me if I'm wrong, but Heather really never did anything directed towards Raina in a malicious way. Well, never. she, she never she never called finish. her the N-word. No. She didn't call her. Yeah. She didn't mean it. She was, they were both playing around, having a moment. She was talking about somebody else and it was like a song lyric and she said it. Yeah. And it was wrong. But it so but if we think about intention, she said that she said the wrong thing, and now Raina has turned that in. If you if Raina feels like, I bet it, she it's, called her the N-word. like she looked right at her and called her yep. the N word, yep. and that's how she's treating this, and that's not what happened right. at all. And so now she's directing this anger, and I'm sure Raina has anger. I think a lot of this, well, even the stuff with Wes. This all isn't even about Heather. No. This is about years of trauma that she has experienced, and it's all kind of Being a black out, woman in America. Which is now, hard. And she, and we're going to talk about this, she does not accept anyone else's experience, especially any other black person's experience, to that it doesn't line up with hers, she completely freaks out. Well, before we get to that, though, yeah. where Heather and Raina have this kind of right. conversation. They have this conversation... Because basically, Raina is saying, Kaylee likes us more. Than, and finally, Heather's like, shut your mouth and say it to my right. face. Because I, I think Heather is just like, she's fed we up went through it. Th- we went Heather's through this. Heather's like, when I ask you, because this is a very fair point. Heather says, when I ask you if something's wrong and I want to talk about it, you say it's fine and you never want to talk about it. Right. You never want to bring it up. So Raina always chooses when she wants to talk about things. And Raina says, things. I don't like white people that say the N-word. Full stop. That's a <laughs> okay. Great, I don't either. <laughs> yeah, I don't either. Then just don't deal with her, but right. don't punish her. Like right. when you've when you're working. So Heather's like on her knees. Raina's like, I don't accept your. Raina finally says what she's always wanted to say is, I don't accept your apology. Right. 
and she just she wants to be angry at her. And then Heather's in the car. She's sobbing. And so that's where Raina goes back into the van. Right. And the yeah, so now I wanted to thread that. And so that's where she's talking to Wes. And I think Wes is is basically I think I wrote this down. Let me just say this. Uh um yeah, Wes says, Okay, stop. Look, she apologized. He said she admitted to it and she apologized. Yeah. And he said, You should just walk the fuck back a little bit. Right. And he said it in a very calm voice. Yeah. Raina completely She doesn't listen. She blows up. Yep. She starts screaming at him, saying, "Shut the fuck up! Shut the fuck you're up! You're fucking black. You're, you well, should understand. Said, you're you should have like my back." All those other motherfuckers, and she's like, "You're not." Yeah, and that's where she said, "You're not black. You're not black." And that's when I went, Whoa. "Okay." And so, ironically, y'all, Yikes. that's racist. Yeah, that's racism. I just want to say that. So that is like somebody you. So basically, I. In the spectrum of things, I think what Raina did to Wes was worse than what Heather did to Raina. In 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 a, di- in a in a detail by detail, blow by blow, yes. Because she directed something. Raina Heather said the wrong word, but wasn't directing it towards Raina's identity. Right. Raina literally went after Wes as a person in the identity <sighs> of who he is. And That's low is, hanging fruit. And this is someone, you guys, no, I who she, is the most ugh. non-confrontational person on the boat. And this is what I don't like about Raina is Raina only cares about Raina and yep. she will take anyone down. She's saying she loves Jake and all that, but remember when she was didn't like Jake and she was trying to shit yep. talk Jake to everyone so Jake would get in trouble. That's she will self preserve herself more than yeah. any, quicker than anyone. I think she might go down in history as one of the worst. Um, I, uh, I think I hope to God she's never on another season. There's no way. There's no way. There's it's no because way. She's talked about the producers. She's, and everything. she's shit talked production. She's shit talked. And so, and Wes was like, dude, that's not cool what you said to me. And she's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and then even later, this goes. They kind of leave it there, and they and all go home. What's interesting, though, and she will say, she later on, she says, you know what, I'm drunk, is blah, 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 so it's fine. These people say these things. And this is the most interesting thing is, she would not let, because Heather said the N-word around her when she was very when drunk. Both, that's it. She said, I was drunk, and people say things that are hurtful. She literally used her own. I'm telling you, the irony of her in that moment that she can excuse herself. I know it's it's she has. It no, was pretty staggering. She has no this, empathy. For I other did people. not expect this moment. And not that I'm. We're not saying that black black people, black women need to have empathy for white people to say the word. It's not it's, about that, y'all. No, it's this a, is just what, what an empathy has for another person. Yes, exactly. What two people have for empathy because she really has some. Because she has to me, what I thought was even grosser is when. Wes and her, when they're leaving the last day, and Wes mm. says, hey, that really was not cool what you said to me. And Randis, and she didn't apologize. No. She said. She completely invalidated it. his She's experience. Like, I get it. Yeah, I get it. And he's like, and Wes is like, no, I don't think you understand. And she's like, yeah, you just don't get it. Yeah, it doesn't. It's she, not the same. And Wes she, is like, I went to, y'all, Wes looks black. I yeah. know he's mixed race. He is not yeah, light. He presents, he presents he black. He looks black. Yeah. He said, yes, I grew up in another country, but in middle school and high school, I lived in the United States. Right. To, to say that he has not experienced racism as a black man in right. America it's, is grossly gross. insulting. Do you know where why this started with them? Because he would never fully under he would never fully kind of be all 100 in for everything she because said. Because Rain is a gross person. Right. Because so she's a piece of shit she's person. used to people um, agreeing with her and enabling her for yes. everything she says. Yes. And she's only used to really being around people who shared her exact experience. Yeah. And so when she meets even another person of color who doesn't share her exact experience, her brain short circuits. I gr- I bet you all of Raina's friends are all they're just in a agree bubble. Yeah. They and, just agree with saying, one another. And they all come from the same place and they all ex- experience the same things. Yeah. Yeah. That so, was that was and I, we've seen that throughout the season actually. Yeah. The tension between those two. Yeah. 
I mean, that's basically all I have. Then everybody <laughs> leaves, and that's kind of it. Yay. Um, I, I don't have but, anything else to use. But I think this was, this was, like uh, the word I used before was staggering. It was staggering this moment where she says, yeah, yeah, I get it. We're, n- we're never going to, under- un- we're never going to agree to disagree. She's like, you just and, don't get it. And I and went, it's like, she just said, it's like she said, he, it, it's her own pain. It's not even yeah. about her. But really for another, just, that would be to me like me saying to you, like someone called me fag in a hurtful way, or I was upset about something, and you tried to talk to me about it, and I said to you, you don't get it. You don't get it. So every time that you had been made fun of on a playground, right. someone looked at you differently, I am devaluing all of that. It is. And and I, and I what's gross, I know that you went yeah, through exactly. that. Yeah, exactly. She knows what he has gone well, through. Well, she knows Ugh. it, but emotionally, she will not allow herself to see a different point of view. She won't see anything. She only of view. sees red. Yeah. It's it's that she only sees Raina. Um whew. I, I this this was a hard moment. I hope she doesn't I, become a chef because she'll be a horrible chef. Yeah. Well she'll, never she'll be hard to it. deal with. She'll never make it through culinary school. No, absolutely not. Um if they treat what's interesting, I'm wondering how she will react to being questioned about this on the tell all. Because this will be the moment. I don't think that people she, ask. Her. I think she'll. She's already gone on the record saying that the tell all's boring. She did a. Um, she did a kind of a, her own tell all. You guys on a podcast, uh, YouTube podcast. Again, if you search one in an agreeathon. Yeah, and yeah, it does seem like that. She just wants an agreeathon. I love that. Why well, would he use that? That, <laughs> but um, it, it does seem that she. What, I I I have not listened, but I had someone kind of laid out the facts. She mostly blames Eddie now, so things are going to be shifting. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she uh, she says that Heather never really apologized. She kind of uh, she what abouts this thing with that's S. not true. We saw her West. apologize. She apologized again when Raina left. Heather gave her a hug right. and apologized, and that was a weird moment too. That was a weird moment too because on head for like I want to tell Heather to be like, honey. Don't hug her. Yeah. Just like way by and say, it was, it was sad it because go. Heather so wanted to be liked. She really wants and, to be liked. And yeah. which is <sighs> which is her Achilles heel yeah. being head stew. I think she'll be back. She will. She's I, already filming. Oh, they are? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think she'll be but that is she needs to work on that. Otherwise it's But really there was this be, also nice moment at the end with Eddie and Captain Lee. He said something very nice. Where he's like Eddie, they were talking about that. You know, Captain Lee is just trading bars. He's like, it's like I love to work for you. And he's like, you don't work for me. You work with me. And I went, oh, my God. A little bit of niceness near the sweet. end. And then my television screen kind of went static. I'm no, kidding. don't do no. this. <laughs> I was about to go get a drink. <laughs> don't talk about Captain Lee and Eddie. That's gross. <laughs> oh, swab my deck, Stop. matey. Stop. Ooh. That's all I've got. Yo ho, yo ho. Fuck me. Gross. Y'all, that's the show. That's Below Dick. Next, we have Below Deck Selling Yacht, which we are Sailing. Gonna, yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> that, which we are going to cover. Not Selling Yacht. I, below Deck Selling Yacht. That's what I said. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to cover that. And then. Oh, I hate <laughs> it. And then, um, we, um, yeah, we're gonna cover that, and then um, hopefully it's better than y'all. Oh, the, last the trailer is bonkers. It looks. I've bonkers. already seen the trailer. We haven't seen the last seasons, and we're not because we're eventually gonna go back and do those. Yeah, so I've watched. The, look. I've watched a couple of season two, um, and they're very fun. They'll Daisy show you is the chief you too. In the yeah. first, are a lot of people back from last season? Yeah. Okay, great. Same so captain. Show, same. They'll show two. flashbacks and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And then, y'all, and then, yeah, and then away we go, y'all. So go to our Linktree link. It's on our Instagram link. It's our realitygaze.com. But if you go to the Linktree link, that's where you're going to find tickets to all of our live shows. Atlanta, we are working on adding a date for you. We know um, you're sold out. We know you're sold out. The VIPs are sold out on a lot of shows, so be sure to check that. If you love listening to this podcast but you don't love our commercials, <laughs> you can join our Patreon or our Supercast at the $8 tier, and you can get that commercial free for your pleasure. For your pleasure. Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on TikTok. We're a TikTok reality is pod. We're gonna we're gonna talk about TikTok more in 2022. We, we kind of forget. 
kind of forget. So we got some more and Twitter as well. We got some more exciting stuff coming down the coming down the road or coming down the stream. But until the pike. then, the pike. Well, I know I'm trying to make a ship metaphor. Oh. Sailing. Coming down the stream. You don't sail coming on down a stream. the river. And then I you do you do too. You sail on the Mississippi on a tugboat. Because I remember my family went on a vacation when we went to Branson. A tugboat? Yeah, we were on a steam tugboat. Not a tugboat, but a steamship. And we were going down the that's Mississippi. That's a stream. Well, it's a river. Streams are small. That's true. But we're going down a river. And that's when they called me up. And I was saying Rocky Top on the middle of the boat. We I need brought to the go. house down. I had everybody applied. And people were still. My cousins downstairs said, is that Matt singing Rocky Top? And they ran up there, and I got a free dinner. Until then, y'all. Oh, wow. Why do I? I need to stop this. <laughs> I'm rethinking everything. Until it, how does this show end, y'all? Until it, then, we tell you, Anchors, anchors Are Gay! gay.